I've had a lot of people asking me about my orbs recently and what exactly they are and a lot of times people will refer to them as dream catchers and I guess you could call them like three-dimensional dream catchers but they're really intended to be something different. I initially started making them because I wanted to help add some light into the world and we have these you know phases that we go through and cycles that we go through and sometimes we can get stuck in a mental rut and find ourselves in like an emotional storm in a lot of ways and yet we forget that rainbows come after those storms and so I started making my orbs as a way to intentionally help people through hard times and to also um, embrace the energies that were going on astrologically because I started to discover as I was making them that the pieces that I, were ma I was making were kind of under astrological influence, meaning that like I would make a piece and find myself really called to the color of copper and then find that there was like a really strong Venus transit happening at that time. So then I started working with that system because I'm a person who makes art out of inspiration and I was starting to get all these downloads um, as far as different things to make and starting to work with astrology to make these tools to help people actualize and materialize their prayers and their wishes into the universe because as the sun would hit these pieces, people's prayers and intentions would then spread out into the environment and, you know, find their own molecular, you know, reception so that those dreams and wishes could be actualized. And I've actually seen some amazing things happen in people's lives who have purchased these pieces. And, you know, like anything, I mean, you could make a lot of different things into tools for this purpose and yet I find that there's just something really magical when you walk into a room that is spraying rainbows throughout it and it re-engages and recalibrates your attention to refocus on what you are wanting to put your energy and your wishes toward. So. With that said, I'm going to just walk through some of the different designs and styles that I've been inspired to make. And um, if you feel called to have any of these particular pieces, a lot of them are still available. Or if you feel called to have a piece of your own, reach out and I can make one custom for you. I also do uh, list n new ones that I'm inspired to make online through different outlets. So I'll leave all that information below. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys some of the pieces that I make. Uh, the first piece that I was really inspired to make, I call a galaxy orb. So you can see why there's this energy of, you know, actualizing and sending out energy. People, a lot of people have told me they almost look like atoms, you know, um, from this style. And this one is actually, um, it's made with shungite and then it's made with this faceted glass beads as well as a central crystal so it sprays a lot of rainbows around and this piece is four by four inches it'll actually be light enough to hang from like a rear view mirror of a car um and then this second piece i'm showing is the rainbow lantern so it's a little bit different of a style this one has hematite in it and these styles i make larger than the four inches i'm just showing you the four inch style is uh you know design to reveal to show you i also make these um kind of rainbow orbs i make these in both black and in white as the as the ring and these i make in a variety of sizes all the way up to 14 inches and then uh, you know i'm going to show you a couple of the other lanterns that i've made um this one actually has uh, lava stone in it so it can double as a diffuser for essential oils and then as I said I make a lot of my piece pieces as like intentional prayers so this one is actually called the heart of the phoenix it's also a rainbow lantern but I made this recently after Boulder Colorado went through that big fire as a prayer of like rising up after literally the ashes from the rising phoenix 
Um, and then I also make these, another prayer piece that I started to make a couple years ago is the rain dancer style. And this I made because the area that I live in, it was going through a drought. And so I made this and it looked like raindrops. So um, I call it the rain dancer. And then I also have um, a starburst style, which is similar, but it doesn't have quite the same number of beads. Um, this is actually a, a rain dancer or starburst style without the central crystal. And then some of the pieces that I was really inspired by, mostly by the moon phases, uh, for instance, are my new moon dream catchers for new beginnings. These are intentional pieces to help people put energies towards new things that they're growing in their life. I like to um, change the grade of the colors in the actual piece itself so it looks like it's capturing light. And then I also made a version of that piece which is called um, Living Dreams, the Living Dream Catcher. This one has an air plant in it and it this specific piece has smoky quartz as the stones. And then I do incorporate stones into the uh, New Beginnings pieces as well as the glass beads, but this is a larger New Beginnings piece from a new moon. And this one actually has stones. Um, this one is actually faceted glass beads, but I make them with stones as well. And then a really um, cool piece that people are into as well is my full moon rising piece. And so it looks like a full moon is rising over a body of water. And I also will make this piece with a three-dimensional orb in the center as well. And I've made them with custom stones and birth stones for my friends who are mamas, and that's been sweet. This piece is actually really special to me. I made it this last Samhain, so right around the time of Halloween to help us remember the light that is given by our ancestors. And this one also has hematite in it. This piece, it's called Eye of the Peacock, with this tear, teardrop kind of, or water droplet shape pattern inside of it. And you can see I also changed the colors of threads in this piece as well. I found that some people really like to hang my pieces in places where they don't get any light. So not all pieces um, have like stones or beads in them that actually capture light. Like for instance, if someone was to hang this in a dark spot, you can see that they would still see it because of the backdrop of my black sweater here. Um, but it doesn't spray rainbows, whereas the other pieces do spray rainbows around, but only if they're able to be hit by the sun. Um, and then this is a piece that I really am in love with that I just made. I do make it in smaller versions as well. Um, but this is my portal piece. I made this on uh, the February 22nd, 2022 portal. Um, and I actually made it specifically at a certain megahertz of music so that it's really intended to be a prayer piece for the coming age of Aquarius that we are going to be uh, stepping into. And this central piece spins separately than it, but I do make this piece as well. This one is 19 inches. You can see it's pretty large, um, but I do make it in a smaller size as well. And then my favorite um, is actually probably my natal chart orbs, which uh, people ask me, what inspired you to make those? Like, those are so cool. And a couple of years ago, when we actually were going into this, like, big shift we all 
are experiencing right now in 2022 that started in 2020 um there was this really big meeting of planets at the same space astrologically in our star system which is called a stellium or a conjunction a conjunction is just two planets being within close degree or close placement in our sky but a stellium is like a grouping of them consider it like a party or sleepover or something is happening but it's not really just an overnight kind of a thing but i wanted to see that what it looked like three-dimensionally um, rather than just look at it on a two-dimensional piece of paper and so that inspired me to start making these star chart orbs so this is actually the conjunction of january 12th 2020 when we were all going into that really big shift that we are still coming out of in today's date you know march of 2022 so this is what inspired me to make my natal chart orbs and um, i've also make them with uh, people's talismans if they want to send me objects that they've found or collected or beads that are special to them that have come out of jewelry or things like that and so this is a piece i just made for someone that i'm shipping out tomorrow um, this is a natal chart orb for her daughter and so i have this different color of thread on the inside so it kind of floats inside of the orb and then she sent me a number of stone beads as well as these really cool um, hand-blown glass beads that she blew herself um, as well as these really beautiful feathers that they had found out, out on walks um, out on hikes that they had been in so I made this piece as a gift for her daughter she wanted it made for her and I make custom pieces for people not only for birthdays but also for like anniversary dates of couples or um, like days of meeting or fate dates as, as lovebirds have coined the term. Um, so that's what inspired me to make my orbs and, and some of the different styles that I make. I do have a few other styles that I don't have physically on hand with me right now um, just because I, I don't have them all available all the time. I make them and I get inspired to make them and I sell them and I bring them to festivals and fairs and make custom pieces for people. So I don't always have every single style, but I will leave a link below um, in my gallery of orbs on my website, rootsofalchemy.com, where you can see different styles that I make. And then I will often post, you know, new creations that I make on my Instagram account, Roots of Alchemy, and on my Facebook account, Roots of Alchemy as well. So if you are interested in checking out some more of my art, check out any of those links below. And if you feel called to get a piece for yourself or a loved one or for a special anniversary or something, just reach out and we will make you a beautiful creation to bring some more rainbows and light into your life. I send you a good wish, and if you have any questions, just let me know.